Hello, I'm Vicki McGrath, Fitness and Wellness Manager of the Peninsula Jewish Community Center. I can't tell you how much I and our whole PJCC staff and family have been anticipating this time when we could welcome you back to the center. During our time together on this video, I'm not gonna be wearing my mask because I want you to be able to hear me. When you see me in person around the center, I will be wearing a mask, as will all my colleagues. Hello everyone, I'm Bob Scott, security at the PJCC. During these challenging, challenging times, we have missed you all so, so much. And we would like to say, hey, welcome back to the J. Thanks, Bob. All of us at the PJCC have worked hard to reimagine your fitness and aquatics experiences to achieve our number one priority, which is keeping you and the whole community safe and healthy. The COVID-19 pandemic required us to raise our demanding standards to an even higher level. We've instituted many new sanitation and safety procedures and protocols to maintain compliance with the San Mateo County Health Department guidelines. When you arrive at the center, your experience during our stage one opening will be different than you're used to. The first change you'll see is that we're enforcing physical distancing throughout the center. Please help us by keeping six feet of distance between you and everyone else, no matter if you are indoors or outdoors. This includes outside, in the parking lots, and on the pool decks. Additionally, the center will be available for members only. We will not accept guests or guest passes at this time. You may expect that our staff will wear masks at all times, and members will be required to wear masks indoors and outdoors, except while working out. To check into the center, please follow the physical distancing stickers to the security station, where you will scan your membership card at our touchless check-in station. Please remember, you will need to bring your membership card with you every time you visit. We will not have staff stationed at the security desk to look up your membership for forgotten cards. An alternative to bringing your card is that you take a picture of your card with your phone and store the image in your pictures. Make sure the full barcode is visible if you go this route. If you have questions about our new center experience, we will have a team member stationed at the Welcome Center to assist you. Traffic will now move one way through the center. Please follow the directional arrows and physical distancing decals on the floor. We've installed hand washing and hand sanitizing stations throughout the building, and we encourage you to use them often. Signage will remind everyone of important protocols like maintaining a safe distance, washing hands frequently, cleaning the equipment you use, and respecting the areas that have been repurposed to provide everyone with ample workout space. Downstairs in the boardroom, we created a fitness studio reserved for those who have identified as someone in a vulnerable population and who want to be safely separated from those working out upstairs in the Bayer Athletic Center. A reservation will be required in MindBody to reserve your workout in the downstairs studio. A floor attendant will be available to assist you in the downstairs studio, and you will have the equipment you need to get a good workout. Upstairs in our Bayer Athletic Center, you will find all the equipment you know and love spaced out in three areas for maximum safety. Our basketball gymnasium is now home to much of our cardio and strength equipment. Floor attendants will be available to source the individual weights and equipment that you'll use. Fitness East and West now have more space between machines and allow you a safe, physically distant workout. We are so happy that after a very long period of sheltering in place, we can now come back together to engage in the wellness activities that enrich our lives and uplift each other. And in the spirit of feeling uplifted, group exercise classes will now take place outdoors to allow for ample physical distancing between members, and class sizes will be limited. Classes will take place outside in Hamlin Gardens, in the functional fitness park adjacent to the outdoor swimming pool, and on the grass near the pool, as well as the outdoor pool deck. We recommend sunscreen for all outdoor classes and activities. Additionally, in-person, physically distanced personal training, small group training, and private Pilates training will be available and take place in our downstairs group exercise studio and upstairs yoga studio. And we will continue to offer virtual personal training and Pilates. Now is the time to plan ahead to make the most of your workouts. All indoor locker rooms will be closed in stage one of reopening, other than for restroom usage. There will not be access to the changing rooms or indoor showers. There will be rinse showers located outside on the pool deck for swimmers. Please also plan to bring your own workout towel, a mat if you have one, and bottles of water. 
The county health guidelines require that we remove access to drinking fountains. Upon your first visit to the PJCC, you will be given a reusable clear plastic bag to carry all your belongings in. Please do not bring any other bags into the center. You will carry and keep this bag with you at all times, even out on the pool deck, while you swim, or in your lane, or while you work out. Now let's talk about cleaning procedures. Our JCC staff will clean regularly throughout the day, and we can't do it alone. All members will be required to thoroughly wipe down equipment after each use with disinfectant wipes that will be readily available in every fitness area. Staff will sanitize with electrostatic foggers before and after each timed and reserved fitness section. The PJCC is practicing all required sanitation protocols required by the San Mateo County Health Department, and we are significantly increasing daytime and nighttime cleaning staff. We've initiated a reservation system to limit the number of people in the center at any given time based on the county guidelines. You must now make an advanced reservation in MindBody. Directions for using MindBody will readily be available on our website for those of you who are not familiar with the MindBody reservation system. For you swimmers, your pool experience will be different than in the past. Equipment is limited, so you are welcome to bring your own. We will only offer kickboards for swimmers. The indoor and outdoor pools will be available for lap swimming, water walking, and private adult swim lessons only. We will limit one swimmer per lane with registration required via MindBody, just like for fitness. Swimmers will walk around the pool in one direction and will enter every other lane at opposite ends of the pool. Please visit our website, pjcc.org, to learn about the details and requirements for our reopening and stages. We are grateful now more than ever for you, our dedicated members and community. Thank you for your continued support and trust. We're ready to welcome you back.